Hello viewers and welcome to a bit of action on the new Forza Motorsport 6 Apex which has been released for the PC a couple of days ago. Um, I've just recorded a little bit of footage really just to show what it was like really getting up on the channel. So you log into Xbox Live and blah 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 um, if, you're, if you've got Xbox Live that is. Um, obviously a lot of PC players probably haven't because they've not been playing on their Xbox. But uh, then you've got the intro blah 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 we like to race why do we like to race? Why do we like to race? Um, don't know why we like to race as my PC just pauses for me, unhelpfully. Um, but we like to race and we're going to keep racing forever. So now on to Forza itself. Uh, of course, this was the pretty much a demo that they showed last year, wasn't it? Rio. Um, see how it looks running on my GTX 780. I don't know if it's using SLI yet. Uh, I have noticed in the wet weather, and I'll show this on the next video, which is going to be mainly no comment with a couple of comments thrown in for a laugh. Um, uh, the wet weather sort of slowed down the frame rate. So I get a slightly better resolution on the PC. Uh, on, on this track, it's not too bad. Frame rate resolution, good. But in the wet weather, I noticed a drop in frame rate. Um, obviously, can't use my wheel which is, uh, for me, a massive oversight. You know, a company of this size not making wheels compatible from the off. You know, they, they've made it compatible with the PC and they're like, oh, we, we might need to make wheels working uh, with it. You know, yes, that can help. It will come in an update at some point. So it's free to play. Nice. Microtransactions, boo. Actually, in many respects, microtransactions are okay in something like this because it's free. You can buy the odd cars. As long as you just contain how much you're going to spend, I think you can earn a lot of the cars as well just by playing through it. So, um, but yeah, as soon as I see a microtransaction, buy this car, I'm like, back out straight away. Um, so I'm just racing along here um, using my Xbox 360 controller for the PC which for me just feels much better. Even on this game, it just feels better in every game, really. I still much prefer the Xbox 360 controller to the Xbox One controller with its flimsy triggers and uh, sort of lip on the, the D-pads. It's just an angular lip. It's not very nice. I, I don't like that at all. Accidentally hit the rewind button here, just trying to find which button was the change view button. Uh, of course, it's showing you the um, two little squares button, which isn't actually on the Xbox 360 controller. Um, so they haven't changed the controller mapping from the Xbox version. It literally is just a direct port. Now, uh, the big part of this is Microsoft's new strategy. You know, how are they going to port games to uh, the PC? And what does it mean for the future of Xbox One? Well, for me, it do doesn't look really, really it doesn't look good for the Xbox One. But then again, the machine looks terrible. It underperforms. Uh, and it was badly put together with still a, a dashboard that's years behind where it should be. It's been a bit of a disaster area for Microsoft and the market share shows that. So they need to really turn things around now. And I think Forza Motorsport, you know, Turn 10 have done an incredible job technically. I mean, the graphics on this section are absolutely stunning. The graphics and the audio on Forza Motorsport are absolutely amazing. I mean, when it comes to the technical side of things, Turn 10 are second to none. And if they had a max powered PC and the new 1080 cards to work with in VR, wow. I mean, what we could see in the future could be amazing. And who knows, perhaps the new Xbox is around the corner with that kind of Pascal architecture inside it and it's going to blow us away and uh, completely relaunch the Xbox while Sony are doing their little upgrade with the PS4K. It's an opportunity. Who knows what uh, Microsoft are going to do there. So the feeling of speed seems to be higher on this version, but maybe it's just me. I haven't played this for a while, but it does feel slightly faster than... Um, than the uh, Xbox One version for some reason. Um, and that's it, coming around these last couple of corners, get through the demo and then we can get into the proper game and that'll be on the next video. So uh, I've just broken these into two bite-sized chunks for you all. And coming over the finishing line. So that's it for this first race. Uh, unfortunately, my NVIDIA driver crashes at the end of this. Now, I wasn't going to show this. I was going to cut this out originally, thinking it was just my PC. But then some other people uh, had a very similar issue. Anyway, it then forced me to restart the game, watch the intro, which you can't skip again, and do that race, which you can't skip again. And that was why I ended up saying, well, I may as well just break these first two bits of gameplay into two separate videos as well. So that was that. So that's it for this video. I'll talk to you more in part two.